And work underway now in Keyport to remove a contaminant known as iron ore slag from the beach. The Department of Environmental Protection was on site today to get that material moved and tested. News 12 New Jersey's Chris Keating has the latest from along the Raritan Bay. The focus of the DEP is on this one specific area of beach here in Keyport, an area that's tucked away and really covered in tree limbs and old reeds and high grasses. And what the DEP is finding is this pieces of lead just like these. And there are many more right over here in the sand that we were able to find. In fact, here are some more examples of those. Perhaps by no coincidence, these were found right in front of the old Aeromarine plane factory. And it is very possible these contaminants came from that company. This is a narrow stretch of beach along Raritan Bay, used mainly by the locals who live in these neighborhoods of Keyport. Those who like to fish, kayak, or sail. Locals like Al Litwak, whose home is along the waterfront and whose sailboat is anchored on the bay just a few hundred feet from his backyard. The lifeblood of this area is the bay, and hopefully we'll get it cleaned up, and if there's a real risk, people will get told what the, ri what the risk is. He watched this morning as workers with the DEP took advantage of low tide and used a front end loader to remove that iron ore slag. The lead contamination was possibly left behind by the Aeromarine Plane and Motor Company, once based on Locust Street right here in Keyport. The company opened in 1914 and started building the very first seaplanes and manufactured aircraft engines until 1930. A borough official here in Keyport tells me the work by the DEP will continue on Tuesday. It is possible their removal process will take three days time. That's the very latest. In Keyport, I'm Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey.